Whatever is the truth, there's no denying that Nessie will continue to intrigue the world for years to come. Jonathan Bright. You may not have heard much about Scotland before, but I'm gonna hazard a guess and bet that you probably have heard of the Loch Ness Monster. A loch is just the Scottish way to say lake, and the Loch Ness is located in the beautiful Scottish Highlands. As world travelers, we don't often go on tours because we like to forge our own path and it's generally cheaper to do things on your own. But every once in a while, going on a tour gives you a deeper dive into history, lets you meet people from around the world, and takes you places you wouldn't have gone on your own. So we decided to do a Loch Ness tour during our time in Scotland. The tour was through a company called Rabbi's Tours and departed from Inverness. With about 14 other people, we were driven down to the eastern shore of the Loch Ness to a village called Doris. Did you know that a man named Stephen Feltham has dedicated his life to finding the Loch Ness Monster? He lives part-time near the village of Doris. Hey everyone, just started the Loch Ness tour. What is it through? Rabbies. Rabbies. I'll put it here if you want to do the tour. Or you, but we're not big tour people, but we also just they don't want to rent a car. And it kind of seemed worth it to know the history of the Loch Ness and Nessie. Hopefully we find her or him or whatever it is. Um, so um, I'll let you know if the tour is even worth it. But here's a view of the Loch Ness. That's definitely worth it. And yeah, let's see how the day goes. After a quick snack of some wild blackberries, we headed on our way to the Falls of Foyer. This was a quick hike with lots of steps to a hidden waterfall. The waterfall and valley are beautiful, and as an added perk, the bathrooms of the trailhead are quite nice. After a windy drive on a single track road, the next stop is Fort Augustus, which boasts of the Caledonian Canal and stunning views of the Loch Ness. This is where we stopped for lunch because there are restaurants lining the canal. Cue us eating our PB&J because we like saving money and traveling cheap. So we're still here in Fort Augustus with the rab rabbis, rabbis. Ra rabbis tour. Uh, to the Loch Ness and honestly so far I don't think it's worth it I honestly think if you would just rent a car and but if you don't like driving on skinny roads and still want to see the places then it would be worth it right yeah if you don't like driving yourself I guess it's worth it but like we already rented a car it's not that bad yeah, I think it's honestly even cheaper so if I were you guys just rent the car and do it yourself um, there's nothing that they're adding like n to the Loch Ness experience that you couldn't do it yourself with just a bit of driving, a car, and some Kulata. research. Yeah. Just go to Culloden so you get the backstory. That's all. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Early review, maybe the final review. I don't think it's worth it. After lunch and a look around, the tour takes you up to Inver Morrison for a short walk to view the River Morrison. The next part of the tour is where we took a different route than everyone else on the tour with us. The tour gave us an option to take a boat tour on the Loch Ness for an additional 17 pounds per person, or to go on a hike that overlooks the loch. If you book the boat tour on its own, it costs 27 pounds, but through Rabbi's tours, it's just 17 pounds. Everyone in our group, besides us, decided to pay for the boat tour. To us, the additional cost didn't seem worth it, and you know us, we love hiking. So we started on our journey up the mountainside. Yeah. Don't be deceived by the peaceful videos. We were attacked by a swarm of flies as we neared the top of the hike, but the views were incredible. It ended up being just over two miles of hiking. After everyone returned from the boat tour, we were driven back to Inverness to end the day. Here are our overall impressions of the tour. On the positive side, our tour guide was great. He was friendly, helpful, and made the tour very pleasant. On the less positive side, we could have easily done all the things we done, did on the tour on our own for a lot cheaper. And on our own, we would have been able to spend however long we wanted at each location. For us, paying for the tour was not worth it, but if you don't love having to plan out your days while traveling and prefer to rely on tour companies to ensure that you have a good time, then it would definitely be worth it. Or if you don't like driving in foreign countries and would prefer a local to drive you around, again, the tour is worth it. Both of those things are not important to us, so the tour wasn't worth it for us. Yeah, there, there's a lot of flies and midges. <laughs> I grabbed that one. I couldn't 